Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you some water marbling quick tips. This is just perfect if you don't know how to do a water marble yet. I know a lot of you don't know like how to do it properly and it just gets messed up. So I hope these tips will help you and if you do a water marble, I'd like to see your recreation so send me a picture on Instagram or Twitter. But let's just go ahead and get started with the tutorial. First, apply a base cut to protect your natural nails from staining and to also help the nail polish grip better onto your nails because if it does, then it lasts a lot longer. Next, you'll want to apply some white nail polish and you can do one to two coats depending on how opaque yours is. I can get away with one coat, but depending on your formula, it may need two. And this will just make your color stand out very vibrantly, so if you want very vibrant and opaque colors, then apply white and then wait for that to completely dry because the more dry it is, the better it'll work out. And yeah, I'm just gonna wait for this to completely dry. For the water, you wanna make sure that you're using room temperature water, not hot, not cold, just room temperature. And I'm just using tap water. You could use filtered water if it works better for you. You can kind of test them out to see which one is better and which one isn't. So just do that to see which one works for you. If one is causing problems, switch to the other one. And I'm just going to use tap water because it works well for me. And I just kind of leave it out for one or two hours while I'm prepping my nails, getting my nail polish ready. So that way by the time I'm ready to use it, it'll be at least close to room temperature or room temperature. And for the container that you put your water in, you do not want to use a bowl. You want to use something small like a shot glass or just a small container, a cup, anything small in diameter. So not a bowl because that'll be wasting too much nail polish and that's never good to waste nail polish. So use something small in diameter. I'm just using this plastic container from Chipotle. It had guacamole in it and I cleaned it out and now it is being used for my water marbling. And just anything small that you don't care about because it will be messed up. Like it'll have a bunch of nail polish on the sides. So you probably won't want to use it afterwards except for water marbling. So use something you don't care about. And that is the tips I have for water. For the nail polish, you want to make sure that they all work well in the water marbling. So what you want to do is just take each individual one and put it on top of the water to test them all out. If it spreads out quickly and evenly, then it's working and you can use that one for your design. But if it kind of just sits on top of the water or it doesn't spread out quickly and then by the time it is spread it out and it's just dry, then don't use that one those ones and the ones that you do you can use those so use whichever ones work for you and it doesn't matter on the brand it could be a high-end brand or a cheap brand it just depends on the formula so test them all out and then you want to do a test bullseye to make sure that they all work together so if they work well together then you can use it for your water marble and if they don't you just want to change something one of the nail polishes if they don't work with one of them just kind of switch them out and if you're a beginner doing water marbles, you want to start out with the least amount of nail polishes possible. So two if you're a beginner and you could probably use three, but any more like four or five, that's getting kind of hard because there's so many nail polishes that you have to put in. So I'd suggest just doing two or three to start out, but then once you get the hang of it, you can use more. And that's all I have for nail polish. For the cleanup process, to help with that, you want to use tape or Vaseline around your nail, not on the nail and not on the cuticle. So I prefer to use tape and I just take one piece and put it above my cuticle and then wrap it around my finger. Then I take another piece, which should have been longer, but I just use two. And I just put it on one side, not touching the nail, so just around it. And then I flatten it onto my finger and the bottom of my finger. And this will just help with the cleanup process and just makes your life a lot easier. So just make sure that it's not touching the nail. For the water marble, you're just going to have all of your nail polishes open and close to you, and then some toothpicks next to you, and you're just going to put a drop of each color onto the water, and just let them spread out, and then do the next color. This is just really easy to do. Make sure that you work fast, and I have the toothpicks next to me, so I don't have to go and reach for them, because you will be using them for the design. And just do this until you're happy with how it looks, and if it's not spreading, 
too much or then just kind of tap the edge of the cup or shot glass wherever you're using when you're doing the design you don't want to start in the outer like rings like as you can see right there because it'll be too dry so start kind of on the inner ones and then place your nail in the part of design you like and then blow in the water and with your um, Q-tip or toothpick, whatever you're using, clean up the water so that way when you come up it doesn't go onto your nail and then ruin it. So this is what I'm going to be keep doing and if you have like polish residue on the surface of the water just take a little bit more nail polish and just wait for that to dry and then clean it up so that way there's no residue. You can use a q-tip if it kind of just sticks to it better but I just do this to kind of clean it up because as you can see there's little things of polish residue floating on top of the water so try to clean up as much of that as you can and then you can continue with your water marble so just do this for each nail and I just do like two at a time and then I tape off take off the tape and this is just super simple and hopefully now you know how to do it Once you wait a few minutes for each nail to dry, you're just going to remove the tape and as you can see, this just takes off a lot of the nail polish around your finger because you use the tape, so there will be just very little for you to clean up and this just makes your life very easy. And make sure that it is dry. It doesn't take too long for it to dry, just a few minutes because it's such a thin layer of nail polish when you do water marbling and that's why it also lasts a lot longer. So I'm just going to remove the tape and then clean up my nails and then do the rest of my nails and then I'm done. Almost done. The final step is to apply a coat of top coat to protect your design from chipping away and to add some shine. And that is it. I hope you learned something from this. If you did, give this video a thumbs up to let me know that you liked it or if you learned something. And if you want to see more videos from me, just press the subscribe button. And if you have any questions on just water marbling or nail polishes, just ask me on Instagram or Twitter because I can't reply to YouTube comments because I took off Google Plus because Google Plus with you so if you have any questions I'll just reply to you on there and yeah if you want to follow me on those accounts just click the links in the description box to take you to my Instagram and my Twitter so that way you can subscribe to me and yeah that is pretty much it I will see you next week with another new nail tutorial so yeah bye